up? It's your girl, Rabbi K. Today, we are going to be diving into the conspiracy palette. Just like everybody else on the internet at the moment, the conspiracy palette is up, it is out, it is available, and people are going crazy over it. And I was lucky enough to get my hands on it. Um, I also got my hands on the mini controversy, blah, 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 but I'm not going to be going into that today. So if you want to see how I did this with this, keep on watching. Okay, the day has finally arrived where the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star collaboration palettes have been released into the wild. Originally, I was unlucky and did not get the first launch of palettes because um, I wasn't gonna wake up at 3 a.m. to get them so I uh, thought that my time was numbered and that I wasn't actually gonna get it until you know the hype was over but then I stumbled across some from Princess Polly and I got both so I'm very excited living for both of them the packaging is just ugh, yes but this is the mini controversy palette and it is just increds so cute love that and we are not diving into this one today because i want to give it its own time to shine um so i'm gonna pop this one over to the side i'm not even gonna touch it until my next video which makes me v sad but oh, so cute love it um i didn't think that i was gonna want both I actually didn't think I was gonna want either of them like when I was looking at it I was like yeah I mean whatever like when I was watching the series it was it was fine but then I bought it anyway because I can't control myself and um, I actually love it so much more than I thought so here we go here is the conspiracy palette and it is also just incredible Look at all of the detailing in every pan. Just so cute. So we're going to be diving into the Conspiracy palette today and the Mini Controversy palette is going to have its own little moment later on. So first of all, here is the packaging and um, one thing that I noticed with this packaging specifically, like with the Blue Blood palette, it was in the same kind of trunky formation to my knowledge. I can't really remember, but when I felt it, it felt cheaper and like more cardboardy whereas this even though you, it's still made out of like a cardboard it feels weighty and it feels rich and this part is like an actual little metal like badge emblem like an enamel um it's just ugh, so nice and these little clasps made out of like metal um it just feels expensive and i mean it was expensive so it didn't want to feel expensive <laughs> anyway i'm gonna shut up and i'm going to play so um Oh, I don't want to even ruin the pans like they're so cute. I want to do something fun because I feel like there are so many different options like you could do uh, a row each or you could dive around in all of them. Um, I really want to give many different opportunities for this palette to wow me but I am just going to play around with all of them today rather than um, sticking to a line or whatever. Um, but yeah, you could do like a normal neutral shade. You could have like different pops of color. You've got more darker shades, some shimmers. Like it's just really nice. It is very nice, but okay. We're just going to have to ruin the pan now. I even went ahead and bought some new brushes because I just wanted like new brush, new palette, new life, you know? But first I just watched Jeffrey's episode of playing around with the conspiracy palette and he actually dipped into Tanacon as a bronzer. So I'm gonna do that too, uh, to really give this palette every moment that I can. And it is perfect for a bronzer and I feel like you could definitely build it up. So that is good, A plus. Being able to use an eyeshadow as a bronzer is V good. I'm just gonna start soft so I don't end up looking like a crazy person, but it's nice and warm, which is good. And I'm super pale, so I mean, it's good for my pale skin. I don't know how much more tan you could be for it to be an effective bronzer because um, it is still very light and as I said you could build it up but not necessarily for all skin tones just for the super pale such as myself okay not gonna lie that took way too long um, compared to how I normally take to bronze because I had to build it up so much but it is there it is showing it is nice um, I feel like it's gonna be the perfect shade to do my nose because it is that little bit lighter, so you can't just like, you know, 
smash a big bunch of brown on your nose and screw it up so that's one good thing I'll probably use it more frequently for a nose contour but my face contour it's uh, too much effort for me okay and what Jeffrey also did was he used pigment as a blush so I'm gonna do the same and I've probably gone a little crazy but that's fine we can make it fit normally I'm not about that uh, big rosy cheek look but let's do something different I always look so pale and dead. Let's have some rosy ass cheeks. I think I had a little bit of highlighter left on that by accident. Oops. Now speaking of highlight, I'm just going to pop a rando NARS one on because that is not the star of this show today. And the same with our lips. We're just going to do a random nude liquid lip because uh, I want the eyes to be the main focus of my face. So I'm going to do that. All right. So I really want to do something different to just your normal using Tanacon Diet Root Beer, just a theory, blah, blah, blah. And I really hope it looks good because um, I'll be really sad if it doesn't, so, you know. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna do like a blue to pink situation. I don't know, I look like a clown. Let's just do it, let's just go. So I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and go into pigment with the little piggy that I used as the blush and I'm gonna go into the outer crease and we're gonna do a bit of a catty smoky eye situation now I'm going to use that same brush and dip into my pills which is like a light 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 pink just to bring it down and blend it into my brow bone a little why am I zooming you in? Now I'm gonna use a flatter brush and I'm gonna go into What's the Tea? Which is like a breakfast at Tiffany's blue. And go on in that middle bit there and really pack it in. Bring it down just a little tiny bit more so that it really shows up. And as I blend that with pigment, it's uh, kind of kind of turning it purple but not really like it's just blending it nice together i'm just gonna spray my eye give it a bit more moisture so we can stick down a little more and i'm just gonna get pigment on the other side of that flat brush just to pat some more color in there as well beautiful okay now i'm gonna go in with not a fact the really dark plummy shade which is just gorge and make this a dark moment. Same flat brush. I've just tapped it off. So there might be some residue, but it doesn't really matter because I am just blending the same colors. And I'm gonna bring that right down to where the blue starts above it in the crease. a little tiny bit of pigment just to blend it back in and then a little tiny bit of my pills to do the same thing one thing I find with so many purples is that I can't get this area to stick and I'm not having that problem with this palette so good work purples for some reason just do not like my skin um, but this is like a fire queen. I'm gonna get this little tiny blendy brush and I'm gonna go in with my rides here, which is a black. <laughs> and it looks like a very, very pigmented black. So I'm gonna be careful. Yes, good. And that's just to deepen up the corner before I cut a crease in. That's a nice black, guys. It's a good one. Okay, now I'm gonna go back over with that same brush in Not A Fact just to blend the black into the purple. Ooh, bitch. And then we're gonna get pigment and do the same thing. Blending for days and then my pills again. And just alternate all the colors until we get this situation. Yeah, girl. And I want some more blue, so I'm just gonna get that What's the tea shade again and just pack some more on because I want it to be popping, yo. All right, now we're going to cut a crease and we don't want to cut the crease too thick with concealer because I want to use that wet base to put my color on. So it's really just to moisten it up, 
to get the next color in. I like to pat away as much concealer as I can so that it doesn't um, go all tacky and then crease up. Now I'm gonna just try Conspiracy on my finger just to see how it shows up before I go destroying this look. And I think that's gonna be the gala. So I'm gonna start off by pressing it into the concealer with a brush and then I'm gonna go over with my finger so I get a real good payoff. But that being said, <laughs> this is kind of paying off well on its own without me using my finger. So maybe I won't need to. And you wanna make sure you get it right to the edge of where your concealer is, otherwise you'll end up with this weird line when you try to blend the dark stuff back in. I don't think I need to use my finger. I'm just gonna use my finger just to see if it makes it any more shiny, which it doesn't really. Like, this shade is paying off well on its own. Right, now to blend it all back together. So we're going to get the black first, which is my rides here, on that little blendy brush again. We're gonna blend in and blend out. Now we're gonna get Not A Fact. Blend that purple corner back together. See what I mean about purples and darker colors not fitting in this corner? I'm just gonna try wetting my brush just to see if I can get a little bit more stickiness on it. That's better. Get a bit more pigment and a bit more of my pills again. And then just a little bit more conspiracy just to really bring in the blend. I might even use a little bit of spiraling just to really get that corner nice and shiny but blended into a darker color. Okay. I feel like the camera is not really picking up what I'm putting down here. Now I'm just gonna go crazy and chuck a big old bunch of food videos, this bright neon orange, uh, yellow, not orange, <laughs> into the corner of my eye. Yes, I might even bring it under. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera. I'm gonna put some lashes and some liner on and we're gonna see how this all looks finished. So I'll be back in a sec. And she's back! Oh my god! It's amazing how liner and lashes can make such a difference. I was like really starting to think that I'd really like buggered this up, but I'm actually not hating it, hey? Like, I need to blend more now that I'm looking under the bright lights, but uh, other than that, I added a little bit of glitter in the inner corner just to like make the yellow like super pop. And uh, yeah, I'm living for this color combination. It's a little different to what I'm normally like into. I usually just do have like a lot of pinks and stuff. So to have the greens and the blues with the yellows all mixed in, it just looks really nice. I'm happy. So here's a far away look of what we're dealing with. Good thing it looks good because I have to go out and uh, I do not have time to take all of this off and do it again, so. So that is my look using the Conspiracy palette, trying to stay away from the warm, typical, you know, oranges and browns and that kind of thing. Um, I'm stoked. So out of all of the colors I used, Conspiracy, Pigment, Food Videos, What's the Tea, Not a Fact, uh, my rides here spiraling um yeah so there's a couple more for me to use next time um leave a comment down below if you would like to see a different look a completely different look whatever you want i can make it happen girl but as far as the pigment is concerned like it is just great payoff um a little bit of fallout but like i feel like if you were more careful like i just kind of was digging into it and going crazy like i think if you were a bit more careful um then you probably wouldn't have as much fallout on your face as I got. Um, but as far as like digging into the shades and stuff, like they don't fall apart or anything like that. So yeah, it's just, it's really, really nice. I'm very, very stoked with this. Um, we'll be using a lot more frequently than most.
So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and you like me, then please like, comment and subscribe. Do all the buzzwordy things. Uh, let me know if you want to see the mini controversy palette in action. And um, that's pretty much it. Look out for the picky on Instagram so you can like it and do all that stuff. Follow my Instagram if you're not already following it. Do all the things and I will see y'all in my next video. Much love. Thank you so much for coming back and bye.